Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking glowing 3D logo effect using Adobe After Effects and Element 3D. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to create a logo. This is something that we are going to create. So all I'm going to do is create a 1000 by 1000 pixel document. Then I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and then I'm going to just hold shift to draw a square. We don't need a fill, all we need is the outline. So once you have your outline, then if you go to object, path, split into grid, maybe we'll put nine rows and nine columns, something like that. Now we have to group it, so just Command A, select all, then go to group. I'm just gonna press Command C to copy, and then I'm gonna go to edit, paste in front. Now, once you've got that, you can go to the free transform tool, hit this icon over here and move it or hold shift and move it to that point over there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select our first group that we made, press Command C to copy, edit, paste in front and we're going to repeat the process for the other side so now i can move it to that side and now we have the base for our v so once we have that then all we need to do is go to the shape builder tools make sure you have a black fill and now you can start to fill up your shape cool so now once you have your shape all you need to do is go to the selection tool double click on it until you can select it and then press command x to cut it and then press Command A to delete everything and then Command V to paste it back in here. Now the only other thing that I did in here is I went to the direct selection tool and I just curved some of these points. So you can see how I've got that curve there. So all I have to do is click on those two uh, points over there and then you can get that nice curve. So that was the last one that I did. And then once you've done that, you will have something that looks like this. And then all you need to do is save that as a PNG and then we'll take it into After Effects. So here we are in After Effects. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new composition. For this composition, I'm going to go with a 1080 pixel document, 30 FPS, duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. Press OK. The first thing that we need to do is we need to import our logo into here. So if I just go right click, file import, now you can see my logo is in here. So what we need to do firstly is we just need to create a solid for our background. And we're also gonna create another solid, but this time it's going to be a black uh, background. So we'll put the black at the bottom and then we'll put our logo on top of the white so that you can see it just like that. I'm just gonna scale down this logo slightly so it fits maybe something like that. And then on that logo layer, what we need to do is we need to go to layer then go to auto trace and you can leave the settings as is. Let's press okay. Now we have a traced out logo, which is cool. So now we can take the eye off uh, that because we don't need it and we'll move on to the next step. So now we need another new solid and this solid, it doesn't matter what color it is. This is going to be called Element 3D. Now, if you don't have Element 3D, this is a paid plugin. So please make sure you get it before continuing on with this tutorial. So once you do have it, all you need to do is just put it on that layer. And you can also take the eye off the auto trace as well, because we don't need that as well. So the first thing that we need to do in here is we need to go to custom layers, custom uh, text and masks. And then if we change the custom uh, path one layer to our auto trace layer. Now, if we go into scene setup and then press extrude, now we have our nice little extruded logo in here. So that's looking pretty cool. So now once you're in here, you can have a look at some of these presets, you know, you can go through them and change them to however you like, but the one that I'm gonna be using is racing. So this has got a nice little blue stripe in the middle and I think that looks pretty cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the extrusion model, go to shiny. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extrude this a little bit more. So probably to about two. So now we've got a thicker front edge. Cool. So now once you pick your preset, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go up here to create and we're going to create this rectangular plane. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it up really, really big. So if you just click that it in the middle and then just scale it up. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate it 
and I'm gonna hold shift so it cuts it straight down into the middle just like that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click that move setting and I'm gonna move that Z axis and I'm just gonna get it just until it's off that last bit so maybe something like that so now I have that as my background as well so that's looking pretty cool Cool, so now once you have that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the materials, go into physical, drag the black gloss to there, feel free to use any one that you like. And then I'm also gonna go into the environment and I'm just gonna pick one of these and you, you can play around with some of these if you want. Um, but I'm gonna pick uh, underpass, blurred, and I'm pretty happy with that, cool. So now once you have that, then all you need to do is press OK and it'll take you back into After Effects. And now we have a nice looking logo from Element 3D in there. So now what we need to do in here, the first thing that we need to do is we need to add a new camera. And I'm just running with a, let's say 50 mil camera. I'm gonna press OK. The next thing that I need in here is I need a null object. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make that null object 3D. So I'm just gonna click that button over there. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick whip the camera to the null. And then if I go inside the null, I can press S for scale and I can just scale down that logo to whatever I want. So I just scaled it down a little bit more. So now we need to animate this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up the null settings and I'm just gonna hit the stopwatch for position, scale, and XYZ rotation. And basically, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move to about, let's say, seven seconds, and I'm just gonna put all these keyframes over here. Then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna move back to the start, and now I'm going to actually animate things. So the first thing that I'm gonna animate is the X, Y, and Z position. So if I change the X value to about, let's say 65, if I change the Y rotation to about 36, and if I change the Z rotation to about 53, now you've got this animation where it all spins like that, and that's looking pretty cool but now we just have to push it forward a little bit. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm just gonna go to the scale. So I'm just gonna kind of zoom it in a bit. And so now we have a nice kind of logo reveal like that, but we need to fix this up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to move that X rotation until you don't see any white and what we can do is we can actually take the white background off because we don't really need it anymore so now i've got the logo that moves in like that and i think that looks pretty nice but you can change it to however you want so now the final thing that we can animate here is the position so it's where do you actually want the logo to appear so all i'm going to try and do is just keep it in the middle as closely as possible to that. And then when it gets to there, there we go. So it's just this starting point. So if you wanna move it around, you know, maybe something like that, even start it from over there and then it swings around and it comes in and there we go. Cool, so now that's looking pretty cool, but it's looking a little bit dark. So what we need to do is we need to go into our element settings and we need to go into our render settings. And then if we go to ambient occlusion, if we enable that, and if we enable the intensity, bring that up to about 10. So now you've got a bit more shadows on there and that looks pretty cool. Then if we go to physical environment and we up the exposure, so let's put it to about two. So now you can see that that's looking pretty nice. Now, the other thing that you can do in here is if you go into this rotate environment. So if we put it over here and then we start rotating that, you can see how you've got the, all these things that are happening in there. So I think that looks pretty cool if we animate all of that. So let's put that all in, move to the end of the composition and you know, you can just put this to whatever values that you want. I don't want too much, you know, but if I have it as 20, it's gonna be very slow, but you will see that it does start to move. And if you want that to move faster, 
then what you can do is you can just uh, increase these values. Cool, so now once we have that, just to give it a bit more movement here, we're gonna add another scale in animation. So to do that, it's quite easy. If we just create another new null object and we're just gonna put that at the top and then I'm just gonna pick whip null one to null two. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a scale in animation starting from probably about there. All right, turn that on. And then as it goes to the edge, I'll just bring it to about maybe something like that. So now it will get to that point there and then it starts to scale in. So what we can do is highlight both those keyframes, go to animation, then go to keyframe assistant, easy ease, and now that will smooth that. And since we're here, we might as well smooth out all of our animations. So if I highlight everything and press U, then I can see all of my animations. So I'm just gonna highlight absolutely everything and then go to animation, keyframe assistant, easy ease. So the final thing that I had in here was inside of our element settings. If I go into, there's a glow setting over here. And if I enable glow, you can see what's actually happening in here. And if I hold option, click on that little stopwatch for glow intensity and write wiggle one comma 10. Now we will have some wiggling glow animations as well. So that looks pretty cool. The only other thing uh, that I added in here is if I go into my camera settings and if I open up the camera options, I just did a small little um, animation on the blur and the aperture. So the aperture I'm gonna start off at 200. The focus distance is gonna be 25,000 and the blur level is gonna be 100%. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to get to the end of that animation sequence, which was about seven seconds, and I'm just going to put the blur level back down to zero, and I'm gonna change the aperture also back down to zero as well. So now it just has, it just softens it a bit as well, so. Cool, so now that's mostly complete. The final thing that I did to this was if I added a new adjustment layer, and if I added the effect uh, curves, and now I just played around with some of these. So I did like a kind of reverse S-bend, just like that, just so it looks a bit cleaner, I think. I think that looks really nice. And the final thing that I added was another adjustment layer. And in this adjustment layer, I added some noise. And as usual, I put up noise to about eight, 10% something like that. But I think that with the glow looks pretty nice as well. And then the final thing is I just added some dust particles. So I'll just leave a link in the description below. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this uh, short tutorial on how to create a animated 3D logo using Adobe After Effects and Element 3D. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.